welcome, 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 Jake Fish here. Today I got some big news, guys. Big update for Power World. So we got Steam patch and Xbox patch 0 0.1.5.0. 0. And their major fixes are they implemented a backup of saved data on the world selection screen, resolved issue of unnecessary data accumulating in saved data. So I guess. Hopefully that saves the world not saving, or fixes the world not saving. Key configuration. So you fully supported keyboard key configuration. So that's great for us PC users and even some Xbox keyboard. Um, guild modified speculation to allow, or specification to allow guild members to be removed when not logged in. Cool. You can kick people now that aren't logged in. Player issues change non press operation during player tasks to allow continuous work by pressing the work button once. This is switchable in option setting. Finally, guys, you press the button once and hold down until work is finished. Thank God. No more videos with people putting things on top of keys. Fixed issue where riding in prohibited hunting areas would not. Result in a crime. I guess they fix the palace sanctuary so that it results in a crime to go there. And improved interaction accuracy with adjacent objects. So that's going to be how well you can hit things from fire or interact with them. Or no, not fire. Adjacent. So next. Gotcha. Pals, change specifications so that when a pal is instructed to attack aggressively, a pal will attack in indiscriminately, even if they're not in combat. That's like arc. It's going to basically follow you around, and whenever something comes in the distance of you, it's going to kill that thing. Or itself, actually. Anything that comes around itself, it'll kill. Corrected an issue to allow pals of rank one or higher to be selected as concentrated material. So higher rank pals yield more points when concentrated. Finally, we can concentrate down our rank four pals to level up other pals, or like a rank two pal worth more to give to something now. So you don't have to worry about combining things, wasting uh, experience anymore. Uh, where are we to? Fix bug where if a large amount of experience points gain level increased at 50 to 50 at once, pals would not learn any active skills. So I guess if they level too fast, they wouldn't get their, their moves. And they fixed that. Mitigated an issue where using most Sanders partner skill, Gren Grenadier, Grenadier, <laughs> Panda on a dungeon boss would cause the boss to get stuck in the wall. Now this, getting a boss stuck in a wall, I don't know about boss, but a lot of stuff gets stuck in walls, so hopefully this fixes all of everything gets stuck in walls. <laughs> Base issues, fix an issue where Base pals would be stuck on top of a logging site, etc. Thank God, guys. Thank God. Added measures to prevent the issue where base pals would wander and get stuck at the border of the base area. Oh my God, I can't tell you how many times these two things have happened to me in the past couple of weeks. That's great. Fix an issue where pals base would get stuck repeatedly starting transportation tasks like Bob I kind of would appear over and over again. Thank God. Lubus, we're looking at you. Added measures to prevent the issue of base pals getting stuck in the environment on a roof. Environment, eh? The, oh... I guess farms like a ranch.
I'm not even sure what that means. I don't know if it's like reading. Fixing an issue where work pals would get stuck in the summon space of pal box when starting the server on a dedicated server. Adjust the default work priority of base pals. Anubis will prioritize manual labor. Oh, thank God. I, I guess they fixed Anubis hard. But <laughs> Significantly relaxed building restrictions stairs and triangle roofs that's great so hard to snap stairs places fix an issue where sand would play an infinite loop when pals are based in certain active skills i never experienced that but i bet that's really annoying speculate or specifications change i don't know why i keep saying speculation specifications change so that all changes in environmental temperature are added up Thank God, guys. I assumed this work at the beginning, but it didn't. Now you don't need the best. You don't need a certain place to go breeding. Now you can breed anywhere. It's amazing. You only have three bases, right? So, if you put four campfires next to each other, the surrounding area will have a temperature of a volcano. That's good. Implement a relaxed working style on the monitoring stand. Oh, I guess this is so you can get your like your sand back, your sanity. All right, balance adjustment. Significantly strengthen mining power for Dig Toys partner skills. That's huge. Fix the abnormally high selling price of nails. I bet a lot of you guys hate this one, and uh, even some of my gods had that uh, to sell some nails, you know. I'm gonna have to come up with some more some more ways to get gold for you guys. But right now, what I've been doing, I've just been going to dungeons, farming it plus two accessories. Um, you also get gems and diamonds, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, I've also been told that you could farm black marketers and get gold keys and get like 35k or 45k or something off each one. <clears throat> and if you can. Just like uh, in the comments below, just let everybody know where you guys get your gold. So that'll help everybody in. Significantly increase the number of police officers who appear when a crime is committed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many they increased it by, but they already had four or five. On hard mode, it was kind of rough. Added electric shock effect to free pal alliance crossbow. So I guess it's gonna electrocute you now. Adjusted the flight distance of spear launcher and scatter spear launcher. That was really needed because it didn't go anywhere. Increase the sand value recovery of high quality hot spring. That's great too. Uh, network related. Renovated the server lobby. If search by server name will now work. Added the ability to view online players on a dedicated server. And on community servers, this will only be displayed if the setting is enabled. So that's really cool too. You get to see each other online. Oh, there's fixed issue where day five memo was not placed. So I know some of you collectors out there are probably looking for that day five memo. <laughs> you can now adjust the in-game brightness in the settings. That's huge. Yeah, I love that. Fix many bugs. Minor bugs. So that's good. I wonder what that was. Corrected various incorrect text. Okay, that's cool. Improved measures against cheating. Put it right in the bottom, guys. So if you were cheating before, you may want to think twice now. <laughs> and it says, we are currently working on an issue where autosave fails on Xbox and Xbox Game Pass versions. We expect this will be resolved in upcoming updates. 
So if you're playing on Xbox, guys, make sure you save the game manually until you get an next update that comes for you. And it says, we'll continue prioritizing top, or placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. And then they have a known issue here. With the implementation of relaxed work mode and monitoring stand, the default work state of the base where a monitoring stand has already been placed is now set to relax. As a result, the work speed of the pals at the base is slow. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please change the work mode from the monitoring stand. There's an issue where pals created through breeding retain their passive. We plan to roll this change back as soon as possible. I'm not sure about this. But this could mean this could mean you could pass on skills every time. Very interesting. We're gonna to have to. Uh, you guys are gonna to have to let me know down in the comments below if uh, you find it easier to breed passes and stuff this patch. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps a lot. I'm going to leave a, a link to a uh, this tipping jar that you guys can support me directly from. I set it up. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys again.